Hey everyone, it is Scott from CertMedia.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to properly submit a sitemap to Google Search Console and I'm also going to be showing you how to remove a sitemap in case you duplicate one. For the pretext of this, I am using Yoast SEO and this is one of my live sites and as I mentioned a while back I would be doing an SEO series so this is going to be kind of the introduction to that series. Um, I have the site set up with Google Site Kit, so it did add the domain. And when you set up Site Kit, you will automatically get the listing added, but you do not get the sitemap submitted. So when, if you're using Yoast SEO, which is my preferred SEO plugin, you get your sitemap index.xml. And I see this done a lot, and it's a little bit confused by users who have this. So with the XML, the sitemap index.xml is functionally a sitemap of sitemaps. This is what you should submit to Search Console. Now, if you have anything more than this, you run into some weird issues. Because you're doing that, you're telling Google it needs to crawl the sitemap file. Then you're telling it it needs to crawl every additional sitemap that you include. And if you submit a sitemap index, it registers it as the correct type and it actually lists out every sitemap that is in there and it will tell you when that sitemap was last read. Now, let's say that you started your website and you're not really sure how to remove it. So we're just gonna add this sitemap in here for test. This is for BB Press, I believe. So you added a second sitemap and you totally didn't mean to, you don't need to do that. How are you to remove it? To do this, you actually need to click on the sitemap, click the triple dots at the top right, and then click remove. It will prompt you to make sure that you want to remove the sitemap and you can remove it. You're allowed to remove the sitemap so long as it is a sitemap that appears in the sitemap index file. Now that you've done this, Googlebot will be able to crawl the sitemap on a regular basis to make sure that your content is being updated. As you can see, this was submitted on April 27th of 2020. This is a pretty new site, and it's going to be the basis of the SEO series. If you have a specific question about your sitemap implementation, the most common plugins, um, let's see, all-in-one and rank math, both use sitemap indexes, so this is the preferred method. But if you're using any other scenario, please feel free to ask in the comments below and I will try to help you out. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.